How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Coxie Tutorials and Gameplay and this is going to be part 17 of our first person shooter tutorial series in Unity 5 and today we are going to be making a muzzle flash for our minigun. Uh, as you can see here I've gone ahead and got myself a muzzle flash and you can just go onto Google and type in muzzle flash and this is where I just got mine from right here and you can pick a different one from here if you want just keep in mind that if you pick one of these ones that goes off to the side it'll actually appear in front of your gun like that which you probably don't want so I would recommend getting one that's front on view like this one or this one or this one these ones anything like that alright so grab yours I just grabbed that one just to test it out and we are first of all going to make a spawn point for this muzzle flash because we have a raycast shooting script and not a prefab shooting script we don't actually have a bullet spawn point on our minigun so if you've done a prefab shooting script for this minigun you would have a spawn point at the end of your gun where the actual bullet rigid body bullet instantiates and shoots out of your gun. Because we have raycast we obviously don't have a bullet spawn point so we're going to make one especially for our muzzle flash so it knows where to spawn it when we instantiate the muzzle flash we make. So first of all we will just right click on our minigun and create empty and just press F2 to change it there or change it up there whatever you want to do and we'll call it might as well flash spawn because that just makes sense and as you can see if you click on this square I've showed you this before you'll get a quite a quite a straight on view of your gun and this is the muzzle flash spawn that we just made the empty object so we obviously want this at the end of our gun that looks pretty good right there okay beautiful so now what we want to do is actually make the muzzle flash so I will just right click on this and make it here for now so I can line it up easily um, 3D object F2 and call this muzzle flash so to make our muzzle flash we are going to be using the particle system to help make this little picture here look a lot better so just type in like part or whatever you want and you can find it up here but it's just quicker doing it like this so get ellipsoid and then get particle animator and then get particle renderer and that is rendering some disgusting looking particles at the moment because there's actually no texture in the particle renderer for it to render so it's just rendering these pink squares so we can just actually yeah we'll just turn it off for a second and that will slowly disappear so the settings we're going to use I was actually playing around with this a bit earlier and I've I got it looking well okay so um, hopefully you guys think it looks okay as well and if not you can always change yours around to suit so change your minimum size to 0.5 max size to 2 minimum energy to 0.001 max energy to 0.001 the minimum emission just to 1 and 1 because we only want to make one particle the minimum and maximum energy is sort of is how long it's going to last on the screen basically when the when it flashes so you want it to be pretty quick and this is obviously self-explanatory just the size that you want it so it's going to go from 0.5 to 2 randomly the size of the actual muzzle flash itself um, what else did I change I turned it off simulate world space because we actually want it to simulate in the local space so it actually stays at the end of the gun but I don't think that really matters with the script we're writing because it's going to instantiate it there anyway so I don't see the difference it's going to make but we'll do it just in case and we'll put it on one shot so that it actually only does one 
one particle at a time. Like it'll it'll do the muzzle flash once and then it'll automatically self-destruct itself is what I'm trying to say. I'll turn these to zero, but we're actually going to change these. I'll show you why later. If you were doing a say a pistol that only shot one shot at a time, you would want all of these set to zero because the ellipsoid is basically the the particles will go around and if it's it depends on what shape you have the particles set, but they'll just go around in a certain area and if you have it set to zero it'll just make the particle right in the middle here. The problem with that when you have a fully automatic minigun like we do is it shoots so many bullets that the muzzle flash will just instantiate on the end and it will just stay there and it will look like it's not even flashing on and off if you know what I mean because our gun is shooting so many bullets and it's making the muzzle flash every single time it shoots a bullet. So you understand what I mean but if you're doing a pistol and just pushing the button once and firing one shot great just do it like that. Um, what I might do is so you can actually understand what's going on a bit better is we'll drag our muzzle flash into here so that'll now be in our particle renderer and as you can see mine's set to particles additive which basically just turns the um, the black background invisible and makes this a bit brighter so now if we turn it on up here to emit again, you can actually see there is our muzzle flash there, but it's quite dim at the moment, which we will fix. So go to Particle Animator. Um, size Grow, I'm going to change to 5. And Auto Destruct. Auto Destruct sorry. Click on that before I forget. And now we'll actually play around with the color so that it animates. So basically, this one, the first color that's going to come up is nearly transparent. So we want to move this slider up. So as you can see, now the muzzle flash is a lot brighter. So that's pretty good. Um, we can leave it that color, or you can change it to a different color if you want. Maybe yellow. yellowy orange like that. I like that a little bit better. And then just go down to all these colors and slowly fade the transparency down. And you can also change the colors of these a little bit if you want. I'm just going to quickly do this. Actually, I won't stuff around for too long. So, I'll just make that one a little bit. Make it fairly red because it's quite transparent. And then I'll maybe make this one a little bit red as well. Probably really dark red and just move the transparency up a little bit like that. Alright, that'll be fine for now. Um, what else? What else? Particle renderer. All I did in here was I turned cast shadows off and receive shadows off because we don't really need that and it does utilize some of our power for the game so yeah just turn that off um, billboard okay that should be fine I'm going to leave that open because we are going to change this ellipsoid Actually, I can just show you now so Basically, say I change this back to 1 and this back to 1, as you can see now, it's moving up and down in this certain amount of space. And if I change this one to 1, then it's sort of following this whole pattern around, just randomly spawning. So we wanted to do this, but obviously not, you know, nowhere near the barrels of the gun. So 0 0.002 um, Point zero zero two point zero zero two point zero two. That's a bit better. Yeah, you want it moving around a little bit. We don't always want it to be spawning in exactly the same location because we are going to be spawning hundreds of these. 
hundreds of these in mere seconds. So yeah, we want it to look a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. And now I suppose we'll write the script. So go into your scripts, right click, create, what am I doing, JavaScript. And we'll obviously just call it muzzle flash that's what it is. I'm doing it as a separate script. We could add this to our gun script or another script but I'm doing it as a separate separate script just in case you guys have different um, shooting script and then you can just add this to your game without having to worry about anything which is quite good. So variables we only need two. We just need one for our muzzle flash which is a game object and then we just need oops one for the spawn point oops what am I doing it's muzzle flash spawn and this one is a transform so now all we need to do is our function update And basically we're just going to do the same statement that we have for our shoot script and our minigun script where we say if we input, you know, mouse zero, I think we had for other two scripts, which just means left mouse button. You can also write it like this. Um, if, had to think for a second there, if input dot get we want it to get button the same as our minigun so when we're holding when we, we can just hold the button down and keep spawning these we don't want to have to keep clicking the left button get button and then in quotation marks fire one which just means left mouse button as well as mouse zero okay so in here really simple now we'll, Oh, actually, hang on. Stop for a second. Hold that thought. Go back to Unity. Because we want to instantiate our muzzle flash, we better make this a prefab. So drag that down in your prefabs. And also, what we'll quickly do before we finish that script, sorry guys, get off track a bit, but I actually want to put a light on this as well so that when we shoot it just puts a little light on the ground and around our area lights it up so it really looks like our guns making a nice big flash on the end um, so what color do we want it we probably want this like a yellowy orange as well probably be the go like that maybe do range of 20 like this is very exaggerated muzzle flash obviously just turn these up a little bit probably help if I actually go and have a look so we can bring this down just like that just like that we'll try that out for now um, so drag this onto your muzzle flash as well now that we've got it set up where we want it and then just drag this back onto here alright so from now on if you wanted to change this you can just click on apply up here and you should be right my daughter sounds like she's just about to wake up so I'll quickly hurry up and finish this script so what you want to do is instantiate no she's waking up I'll pause this and I'll be back Hang on. Okay, sorry about that, bit of a false alarm, she's gone back to sleep, so I'll quickly finish this because she'll be waking up very shortly for a feed. So muzzle flash, um, instantiate muzzle flash, where was I? We were going to then, our muzzle flash spawn of course, so muzzle flash spawn dot position and then the muzzle flash spawn dot rotation 
finish that off with a semicolon shift control s to save and now you can delete this muzzle flash here so we don't need that anymore and we will put this script on our minigun so I'll go back here I'll lock the inspector go to the scripts and get the muzzle flash script on there and now all we have to do is drag the muzzle flash spawn into muzzle flash spawn and then go into your prefabs and grab the muzzle flash that we made and put that in muzzle flash and we should be good so back in our game pick up the minigun going to be. You're dead fella. Oh, yeah, I might just move the light down a little bit so it's actually on the ground. Around a bit more. You can add as many lights as you want. And, um, stuff around with it. Also quickly before I jump off, uh, one of you guys commented on one of my videos about the bullet spawn. Um, when we make the bullet holes on the walls, how they kept clipping. Um, I can't remember your name, sorry dude, but he gave some really good advice and said that we should change. I'll just unlock this, duh. Um, change our clipping on our camera. So on your first person character, you have your clipping planes here. And usually this is set to a thousand for fire and this is uh, 0 0.01 for near. So change near to um, 0 0.03 and that will eliminate the bullet marks clipping and I've changed this one down a little bit too because this is how far away we can basically see with the camera so I've made it to 500, it'll make your game run a lot better, not that my game's not running that good already because my computer's not too bad but some people with um, slower computers maybe want to change that down to about 500 anyway that's all for today um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you learned something as always I appreciate you guys watching um, I'll see you next time. Cheers.